warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu beloved students we will go through the last page of unit 43 which is page number 165 right so we will go through the page it says uh, future aspiration as you can see and study and work so future aspiration you will say uh, study will be at dirasa and is what and work means amal so you will say wal so these three things we will study or we will discuss in this page inshallah let's go let's start Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So exercise one, it says, Uktub ijabatin qasiratin raddan ala al-as'ilati al-taliya. Uktub yani write, ijabat yani answers, qasira yani short. So write short answers, raddan ala yani as a response. As'ilati al-taliya means following questions. So write short answers as a response to the following questions. So, هل لديك وظيفة تحلوم بها ما هي? Do you have a dream job? وظيفة job. هل لديك means do you have تحلم بها you are dreaming about so together I said do you have a dream job or you can translate it as what to what you can say do you have a job which you are dreaming about ما هي what is it so you will say whatever for example you can say الطب you will say نعم الطب uh, if you want to say yes and medicine الطب يعني medicine if you don't have a dream job you will say لا ليس عندي so that's the proper way to answer. Don't just write la and then stop. La might not give you full mark or, not, or might not give you any mark. But if you write the full sentence, you might get a mark or two marks. So you should write la laysa indi wazifatun ahlumu biha. I don't have a job that I'm dreaming about or I don't have a dream job. Right. Question number two. أي وظيفة تربحك الكثير من المال? Which job will give you lots of wealth as a profit? So أي means which. وظيفة means job. Which job? تربحك will give you as a profit. Or will profit you. كثير من المال. A lot of wealth. كثير means a lot. من المال means from the wealth. So together the translation of this phrase is which job will give you lots of wealth as a profit? So if you think it's medicine, you can say الطب. If you say engineering, الهندسة, or whatever jobs, the hundreds and thousands of jobs, you name whatever job you think. Right, so, uh, but if the, if, if it is a job that's not common or that's not, you, you haven't learned in GCSE books, then make sure you find out how to say that job in Arabic. So you are ready uh, from now for the answer. Uh, Number three, أي وظيفة تربحك القليل من المال? Which وظيفة, which job will give you less wealth as a profit? So which gives, which job pays you less? In another word, so if you say a تدريس, a teaching job, or a uh, سياقة, uh, what you call a driving job, yeah, or taxi, yeah, whatever job do you think that pays you less, you will name that. Okay. أي وظيفة تراها صعبة جميل صعبة جدا. Which وظيفة do you think is very hard? وظيفة يعني job. Which job do you think is very hard? تراها يعني you think. تراها you see. So which job do you see as very hard? صعبة means hard. جدا means very. So if you think هندسة, you will write هندسة. Yeah. So you will say الهندسة. Or if you think there is no job hard, very hard, you will say. لا يوجد أي عمل صعبة جدا. There is no job which is very hard. Some people might think all jobs are easy. <coughs> so depending on what you say. أي وظيفة تراها سهلة جدا. Which job do you think very easy? So سهلة يعني easy. Yeah. So it's saying which job do you think very easy? So if you think teaching is very easy, you know some people they say, they say to the teachers, teachers, it's, it's a very easy job. So if you really think teaching is easy, so write it down. Say at dirasa. خلاص. Or whatever easy job you think, you can write it down. Okay. ترجم الجملة التالية. ترجم يعني translate. الجملة means sentences. التالية means following. So translate the following sentences. Let's see what they are. Okay. So I am a doctor. أنا طبيب. I will work as a businessman. أنا سأعمل كتاجر. أو أنا سأعمل كرجل أعمال. 
So either way, same thing. Tajir is a businessman. Rajul A'mal is a businessman as well. Right, she works every day. She works every day. You will say, Hiya ta'amalu kulla yawm. Hiya ta'amalu kulla yawm. Or you can say, Innaha ta'amalu kulla yawmin. All right, moving on. I like this job because it is not boring. You will say, Ana uhibbu hadhal amala li'annahu laysa mumillun. That's, that's a masculine version of answer, if you want to write masculine. So, Ana uhibbu hadhal amal. Hadhal amal is masculine. Li'annahu, who is masculine? Laysa, laysa is masculine. Mumillun is masculine. So, that's why I said this is a masculine version of answer, if you want to write that. If you want to write feminine version of Asa, you will say, أنا أحب هذه الوظيفة لأنها So, وظيفة is feminine. لأنها, the ها is feminine. And previous one was لأنه. So, لأنها ليست, ليست is feminine. And previous one was ليس. So, لأنها ليست مملة. مملة. مملة is feminine word. Right, so you understood. Right, ماذا يعمل والدك? What does your father work as? So you will say, والدي طبيب or والدي مهندس. My dad works as an engineer. Or والدي يعمل كمهندس. Or يعمل والدي يعمل كطبيب. My my dad works as a doctor. So either way, same answer. والدي طبيب or والدي يعمل كطبيب. Same thing. Okay. أي عمل تريد أن تقوم به في المستقبل؟ Which work do you want to do in the future? So أي عمل يعني which work تريد أن تقوم به you want to do تريد means you want أن تقوم به to do so you want to do في means in المستقبل means future which job do you want to do in the future so you can say الهندسة the engineering أو الطيران the piloting طيران يعني piloting okay next number seven أنا لا أعمل أنا طالب. I don't work. I'm a student. So if you want to, uh, okay. So they said it just to translate. So translate this sentence. أنا لا أعمل. I don't work. أنا طالب. I am a student. It's a very simple sentence. Okay. أذهب للعمل بالدراجة. أذهب للعمل بالدراجة. I go to work with bike or by bike. Uh, B means with, but in different contexts, you have to translate it differently, which is fine. It's not a problem. So moving on to exercise six and last exercise of this unit. Sorry, not exercise six, exercise 10. Uh, last exercise of this unit. Uh, write a paragraph of 50 to 70 words about what you would like to do as a job in the future. So it says, Uktub fikratan. Uktub yani write. Fikratan yani a paragraph. Khamsin ila sabi'in kalima. 50 to 70 words. Hawla al wazifati. About the jobs. Alati targabu fil qiyami biha fil mustaqbal. Which you want to do or which you dream or which you like to do in the future. And then you need to talk about these things. In the. 50 to 70 words. What job would you like to do in the future? Number one. So you talk about that job. Why you would like to do that job? Number two. You talk about that. Number three. What's interesting about, about it? So whatever job you want to do, the wazifa, you have to put the interesting topics or interesting points, at least a uh, few points. Yeah, at least three points you mention about the job. For example, you say, uh, teaching, for example. So what's so interesting in teaching? Yeah. So you can say in teaching, you get you get holiday after every half term. Uh, and then you get six weeks holidays. Then you get weekend off, evening off. So like that, you will mention some of the points of the job that you are looking for. What is interesting in it? Or if it's pay is very good, you will say the pay is very good. Right. So you have to know how to say that in Arabic. Okay. What subject are you thinking of taking at university? So again, as a future ambition or future aspiration, uh, you have to mention uh, about your future university. So for example, now you're doing GCSE, uh, you're going to go to university, so you need to mention what, which subject, what subject are you thinking of taking at university? So you can say, uh, 
أدرس الطب في الجامعة. I will study medicine at the university. Then talk about a uh, few other things of of this subject. Talk about few things of university. That's it. Allah's fifty to seventy words is not is not much. So here they have given you uh, twelve points. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not twelve points. Uh, four points. And in these four points, if you write about ten to twelve words, that's going to be about about what you call. Uh, not 10 to 12 words, about 15 to 20 words each one, then it's going to go up to 50 to 70 words. You see, so what job would you like to do in the future? So if you want to be a doctor, talk about doctor. You write at least 20 words on that. Yeah. Why do you like to do this job? Talk about another 20 words on that. Why do you want to do? Like, for example, you will help out the people. Uh, it's, a, it's a serving to the humanity. Uh, <clears throat> it will bring good health to the community. It will save lives. Talk about these things. You see, what's interesting about this job? So find some good points on these interesting sides of this job. Yeah? The people will pray for you. Yeah, you will be happy when, when, when the job is done and you see your patient is good and your patient is healthy enough and you feel happy seeing good people. So like that, mention good points. Salary as well, you can point out. And then obviously, lastly, you talk about the future subjects where you want to study. So like that, it's a 50 to 70 words. It's very easy. So inshallah, go, go ahead, do this work, finish these tasks off. And most importantly, make sure do the last one because that one will uh, create the, the pressure in your mind to look for different words, look, look for different phrases. And that will make your Arabic better and that will make your make you strong in Arabic. Okay, Jazakumullah Khairan. Thank you very much. We'll stop here for today and see you all in the next unit, unit forty-four, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.